Hi everyone and welcome back to another Power Series episode from Power 365 Solutions. Today we're going to further enhance our resource app. So we're firstly going to install a PCF controller for our calendar, purely because the out of the box one isn't all that snazzy. And then in addition to that we will expand on the current resource settings by adding in some colours so that when we open a calendar we can clearly see which resource it relates to. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now as we can see here this is the out of the box calendar version from Microsoft. Uh, and we can see that it's not all that snazzy. Uh, we can obviously change between the month to the week to the day, etc. However, it's just not all that spectacular. So we are going to come on to installing a PCF control because somebody has kindly created one and released that to us through GitHub. So we can install that and utilize that calendar control instead. Firstly, though, however, we need to set up the placeholders. So we need to go into the resource, into the columns, and we need to add a single line of text field called calendar color. You can obviously name it whatever you like, but that needs to be against a resource. And all we're simply going to fill that single line of text field with is a hex color. And I'll come on to that in a second. Once we've done that, then we also, on the bookable resource booking, because this is the table which is going to hold the calendar, we need to also add in a column on here called the same calendar control again, a single line of text. And of course, make sure that we do have a relationship to our resource just here. Now, how that's going to look, we obviously need to install it in the, the form itself. So, if we take a look at the bookable resource booking form, we can see that I've added in the lookup field to the resource so we know which resource is against this record, and then also the calendar color. Now, if you remember that we do have a Canvas app, which is how we load all our resources in, it's from there where that resource is going to be applied to this resource booking. And then from there, we need to pull the calendar color that was set against that resource. Now, the easiest way to do that is a workflow. So if we come to our processes, we can see that I've already created a workflow. So as we can see the, the process here, we have the process name, we have the entity which it is against. We have it set to when a record is created and I've also added in when a record field changes. And what that record field is, is quite simply the resource. So we firstly put in our check condition, which is if book or resource booking, uh, the field called resource contains data, then what we want to do is update that book or resource booking with quite simply the calendar control. So all that's going to do is, if we imagine that this is the record for the bookable resource booking, once a resource has been selected here, it will reach into that resource and pull through their calendar control. So manually, all we need to do is when we set up a resource, whoever that may be, we just need to add a calendar color against them. So we'll just show you how to do that now. We can obviously do this inside the app. We can go to our resources, choose myself, and we can see there is already a calendar color there. However, if we did want to change that, all we simply need to do is just Google hex color, choose whatever color we want. Let's go for let's go for a nice bright yellow. Actually, I think it was already yellow in place, so we'll just change this to red. Choose that color as a hex code, copy that, and place that inside the user. And now that, that is simply all you need to do just to set that up. Now the actual uh, PCF control that we need to go and grab, we can Google PCF Gallery. Now this is a great website, um, this has been set up purely for PCFs and this is where people will come and store all their PCFs which you can come and download. So in our case we're going to search for calendar, make sure I spell it correctly. And then we have this calendar control and you can see you get a bit of a bit of a definition as to what it does, you get a few pictures, sometimes you'll get a, a YouTube video as, as well, and then we can simply select download. Now once we get download, it's going to bring us over to a GitHub website. Now GitHub is brilliant, it's where people can store their code for free, you can come in, take a look at it, access it, and of course download it. Again on here you'll have like a readme file, these are very handy on how to install and then also uh, change and edit to fit your requirements, but if we just scroll down we have some installation uh, instructions. You can of course download, in this case, a sample app if required. For the model driven application, which is what we're gonna do, everything you need to do is on here. And this is a brilliant walkthrough. It's exactly what I follow to get this in place. And I'm just gonna show you that today. So all we need to do is download this latest solution. It's then gonna download it for us in a zip file. We can come over to our environment. 
go into our solutions and you can see here that I've already installed it purely because it just takes around 10-15 minutes and there's no point sitting on here waiting for that but we just simply install it and you'll see it comes across as a managed solution chances are you will always find all solutions you install from PCFs will always be managed for this reason it's just because we don't need to mess with anything in there that will allow us to make changes and edit things inside our environment now the way that we're going to go and change this is quite simple really so we go to tables and choices annoyingly for now we still need to do this in the classic view so we switch to classic we go and find the entity that we want to select this against in this case it's the book or resource booking and then we need to go and find our views so you actually add the calendar control to your view and of course this allows you the opportunity to have uh, a normal grid view in some but you can also have a calendar view in another again I've already set these up and I'm just going to walk you through them but what you can see here is that if we look for myself these are my initials CM so booking CM if I was to show you that one that's simply just a, a read only grid it's going to show me the records but then I've also added the calendar control here against myself so if we just open that one up now once we've done this we want to come across to custom controls and you'll see here you can select add control it's obviously not going to let me just show the others just because I already have one selected but when you select add control it will then list all the controls you can add against this view in this case I've added in raw calendar which is what we downloaded from PCF gallery well, GitHub, and installed and then when you open it in here you'll see that some of the fields will already be pre-filled in obviously these do have my naming conventions on I think when you first install this this simply reads name this reads start and this reads end so all you need to do is focus these fields onto your actual fields on the form I obviously have a field called booking name start date and end date the event color so remember this is the actual field that we created on the book or resource booking you can make various changes so we can change the default event color if we wanted to the resource field yet yeah, that's also very important the one that we also created that was that lookup field back to the resource get all resources I'll usually set this to true it doesn't matter all too much and then again you can just change a lot more if you want to do background colors text colors etc etc you can change the day of the week start I've, I've actually set this to two so it starts on a Monday I believe it is I just look to change that yeah so two is equal to a Monday it all depends when you want your week to start and you can set your week work days as well and that is simply all we need to do there so as I say you just need to put this against the view um, and then you can save obviously uh, the plan here is that I have created various calendars so I have a calendar for myself I have a calendar for Alex as well and the quickest way to do that when we need to do that for views and we don't want to go through custom controls again and set that every time is simply just press save as and then we can change who that's for so if I just make this one for Tom click OK now we need to make sure here that this obviously changes to his calendar so this new view that I've created it should do but it can take a second but we also need to make sure that we change the filter criteria because we can see at the minute that the resource has been set to myself because we obviously saved that previous view so from here then we just need to change that to Tom this bit always catches me out we need to make sure we actually add them in as a selected record and also remove the previous record select add OK and save and close once we've done that then we can go back to our entity make sure we hit save and make sure we hit publish once we've published then we can go back to our app just going to give it a reload so now that we've also got four resources here they've all been set up with their own um, PCF colors we can come onto the bookable resource booking we can see that already there are some bookings in here remember that I said you can still leave some of your views as a read-only grid this is what this quite simply is if we take a look at one of these then we can see that a booking name has been created uh, the status um, duration the resource has been added and once that resource was added it's actually gone into that resource and pulled through their calendar control now all this has obviously been pre-created from the canvas app and I'll just quickly showcase that just so we can get some added in now if I go to my bookings you can see I've got three bookings 
And if we go to my calendar, you can see I've got three bookings. But what I want to do is actually add some bookings for Monday and Tuesday next week. So if we go to our apps, we go to our resourcing app. This is obviously pre-created uh, in prior YouTube videos for this power series. So I'm going to obviously select myself. I need to collect myself firstly. I'm going to set these as Contoso and we will use a return to work app. I'll select the date I'd like it to start on Monday and I said for two days. So we can set that to, obviously we can change these to AM and PM if we wanted. In this case I'm just going to set them as all day and then I'm just going to select load. Now what that's going to do there is it's obviously going to submit or patch um, across to the model driven app. So if I now go back across and give this a refresh we can see both of those have been added. Now you may notice here that these um, these colours have slightly changed. This is purely because these are old records that were created as I was testing last night. However, these are the new records. So going forwards on these, it will always have this calendar control. You can see here that this calendar control is just slightly different. If I was to change this actual booking, let's just change this one to Alex. And if we save on that, you can see the calendar control updates. If I go back to my calendar, it's obviously not there. However, if I go to Alex's, we can see it there. So this is essentially how you install a PCF controller. As I say, take a good look at PCF Gallery. It is absolutely fantastic, and there is absolutely tons on there for you to go through. There is a search function, which has got better over the years, because you can now choose ones that are made for Model Driven or Canvas app. And then obviously, once you go to install them, all being well, once it takes you across to GitHub, you will find quite a handy readme file on how to firstly install and then also how to configure. As you can see here, this actual calendar can be reproduced inside a Canvas app as well if required. Thank you very much for your time and listening. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.